Hey everybody, so I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a progress report on the rig. So, um, I don't know if I can do this backwards or I can kind of let you see what I got going on. So now I pretty much have the stuff over here is um, going to be in the rig, in the living space, some of it. And uh, over here, some of this goes into the living space when the rig is more or less built out. And then uh, you can see the old mattress. Um, and then I'm sort of standing in the garage area here. Let's see, this is a lot of the stuff that may or may not end up in the garage. Um, more stuff in the garage area. A pile of scrap wood over here. I'm sorry about the camera work. Um, but what I'm actually working on, let's see here, we'll walk up front, is I am drilling out the rivets in the ceiling here. These rivets, let me turn the camera around, it might be easier. So these are these rivets right here, this is what I'm I'm drilling them out. I still have a, a few of them to go before this panel comes down up front. Um, and then the panels are, are overlapped. I can't see that. Let me see if the next one has a little bit more light on it. Yeah, so you can see they overlap from front to back. So once this panel is removed, then this panel will come out. And uh, it's, it's a bit of a chore drilling all these rivets out. And then the hot aluminum shavings from the rivet are going down my shirt and whatnot, but we got to get it I'm done. Drilling out a couple of these things. Got to get this drill bit right in the middle. I'm using a quarter inch drill bit. I, it seems that they work pretty well for like five or six of them and then the bit starts to dull and then I'll swap it out for another one. I've already gone through about three or four bits. Now the bits are still good, it's just they need to be resharpened. But I just noticed that they drill out a little easier when the bit's nice and sharp. And I'm putting quite a bit of upward pressure on it because it seems to work better when I do. metal shavings all over my my shirt my arms <laughs> probably down my shirt I know I have some in my little breast pocket here um, all I can say is if you have to do something like this plan ahead well um, that's gonna do it for the update video um, I pretty much took all the footage of everything or anything that I had to show and just kind of slammed it all into this one video so it's it's a whole bunch of everything uh you know stuff from work and uh and then stuff i did today um but yeah made a little bit of progress in in the in the way of the step van in the way of getting it um ready to go with the 
with the, the skin off the ceiling. That's what I'm calling it. The skin, the inside skin off and the insulation out. Now I can cut a hole for my, my Max Air fan. I still need a part for it. Um, I don't know what I did with it. I know I have it and I hate to have to buy another one. They're 25 bucks. But I'm basically ready to mount the fan and what else? Oh, uh, and now I can install my solar panels. Um, I needed to get to these uh, cross members. The cross members you see, there's one there, there's one right there, there's another one. I needed to get to those cross members so that when I drill a hole through to mount, I'm gonna mount my solar panels on a rail very similar to what I have on the box truck but instead of the the pieces that hold the rail on the outside edges of the step van like they are on the box truck instead of that I've got these blocks that I'm gonna use go I drill a hole through the ceiling I put a block through over the bolt and that way I can seal around the bottom of this block they're about an inch inch and a half tall um, I can put some of that um, decor sealant type stuff or something else if I find something better and uh, put that on the bottom put it on the top even in the hole where the screw goes through and then put the rail on top again more of that decor bolt it down and then it'll, it should be sealed it, it should be a, a good solid seal and that way I can mount my solar panels anywhere on that rail I can actually you know maybe slide them back a little bit if I want them closer to the back or if I need to leave a space I don't know it's just it's just the thought I had I'm, not, I'm still not even sure if the solar panels are going to be mounted across the, the long way this way or the long way front to rear of the vehicle um, I said this way like you know what I'm talking about but um yeah I guess that's going to do it for this video once again I appreciate each and every one of you watching um, Appreciate all the new subscribers and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video.